Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna look up jerking off dogs Help me. on my phone. Help me. <laughs> Coming on through. Hey babe, guess what? I'm sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> I should get a discount. I masturbate every day after work. Smell this. <laughs> Does it smell like one? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it smells like a bubble, dude. <laughs>
I don't know. I, I don't either. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I just know it. there's only like few raw things you can eat that doesn't hurt you. Vegetables, yeah. fruit. Okay, I, I guess there's a of. lot of fucking <laughs> meat wise, you fuck <laughs> cocksucker. Yeah. I just found out a buddy of mine, how he cooks his hamburger meat, he boils it. What? what? I've heard of that, and it doesn't what do you sound mean, boils very appealing. It? He boils it until the hamburger meat's done, and then he eats it. Like, does he suave eat it, or does he I boil know, it? I don't know if he does it to... He says he boils it. So I don't know if he does it to get the grease, 100% get the grease out of it. I've never, I've never heard of I've never that. fucking yeah, heard of that. I, I've heard of people doing that, but I just assume they didn't know how to cook. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, I've, yeah, I've heard of people, like... So boiling. he just, like... Dump it out into a strainer like you're making some fucking macaroni and cheese or what? Yeah, yeah I guess. Pack it back together. I mean, ooh, like, ooh, what if you did that with the hamburger and then just put it back in the, you know, the the pot you were cooking it in and then just added the macaroni and cheese shit to it and then just had mac and cheese flavored hamburger. Yeah, but if you already washed all the fat away, that's your flavor. That's that's what I said. Yeah. I well, just, that's where the that's where the nacho cheese or you know, the macaroni <laughs> and cheese flavor comes in. Yeah. Nacho cheese. Maybe so you just have, maybe you should try that. So you got macaroni and cheese and flavorless meat. But the <laughs> No, you just have flavorless. you just have cheese flavored meat. <laughs> so it's just chunky cheese flavor brown. Yeah, it's I yeah. need to ask him again if he just takes the raw meat and just throws it in boiling water. Okay, when you cook, do you like do you cook it till it's just like done? But like all soft, or do you like like the burnt edges on the outside of your meat? How uh, depends how, on what we're eating here. I yeah. like a little bit of crisp, not like not so much on a burger. Like a, yeah, I like I, it like a pork. Yeah, I like a little bit of crisp on pork, especially See, like pulled pork sandwiches. I've started searing mm. everything, mm-hmm. and I like Steak. that little bit of that burnt that outside it. crunch. Yeah, and yeah. then yeah. By the way, hat t- hats off to you. We okay. bought we bought a different one because the one that we got air fryer. It was an oven one, wasn't the like you know the tray thing. Yeah, so we went to Costco the other day, and I still haven't never used one. Went to Costco the other day, and I've been getting up making my own breakfast every morning with it. Yeah, it's fucking the bomb. Yeah. yeah. So what I like to do for breakfast with mine, you just like crack an egg and dump it in there. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm cooking. I'm doing my potatoes in there, and then I do uh, my hash browns. I dice up a potato, throw it in there. I mean, put some oil on it, and throw it in there, and then. Put it in the air fryer for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I, by, the, by the time I get my eggs cooked, it's pretty much done. And I just put my eggs on top of my hash browns. And see, what I do is I take a, uh, the tater tots in the air fryer. Yeah. And I dice them up like hash browns. And yeah. The, the fried egg over top of them. That's my go-to for breakfast. Yeah. Quick breakfast. Yeah, it was, it, dude, it's fucking the bomb. And I did pizza today for lunch. And I didn't eat it all. So I'm like, well, I can't wait to try that. Put pizza in that fucker to warm it up tomorrow. You should get Dude. high and cook. It's awesome. Why does everything have to go back to drugs with you? <clears throat> drugs are cool. Yeah. Yeah. You would know if you would be cool and do drugs. Hey, are you are you wanting to be back on this like permanently? As long as I don't have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, never mind. <laughs> See you in two months. <laughs> Why wouldn't you have to pay? I've been in the black every month for like the last six months. I've been siphoning diesel out of the trucks to put my pickup to get to work. Yeah? Yeah. Dude. <laughs> you can't afford your bills either. Right on. We need to rob a boom. Oh, never mind. No, I, right? I, I, I'm just I'm just living on credit cards dude, and yeah. I looked at my balances and I'm like, oh, Fuck. Look at our the look at all of these airline miles. Yeah. I can go anywhere. I just can't afford to go to stay anywhere. I just it's have to stay at the airport. Right? Like, why the fuck did you guys have to give me such a fucking high credit limit, you fucking fucking fishing ass cocksuckers? I just fucking caught that hook in my mouth and was like, Whoa. So uh my cre- one of my credit card companies wanted me to update my income. <laughs> <laughs> to see if I can adjust my, my $12,000 a year. <laughs> but I've got three credit cards, three separate credit cards, each with a $16,000 limit. That's more. That's twice as much as they bring home every year. <laughs> There's, was, it's like, whose idea? <laughs> yeah. I was uh, listening to They're another, like, oh, he's got equity in his house. Fucking send it, bitch. Oh, no shit. I was listening to another podcast, and they were saying with the, the recession and shit that we're in right now, that credit card debt has tripled. 
in the last like six months. I believe it. I never had credit card debt until like two months ago. Dude, we just got all of ours paid off, and literally, the wife bought had. I swiped the Home Depot card, and she I had email receipt for like sixty some dollars. <laughs> she literally called me like within ten minutes because it's her email. Yeah. She's like, oh, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, we just paid that fucker off. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I was just keeping it going. <laughs> <laughs> the most clean pants. Why on this shirt? God. <laughs> you don't watch the shirt in three weeks. Use it. How was I supposed to know? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> pants, I washed these pants like last Tuesday. Uh, Sorry, Ben. Yeah. God damn it. I do laundry. I can't afford to do laundry, Josh. Tell you what. You bring over one load, and I will wash it for you. In your mouth? I'll give you a load. (laughs) And you're going to want to wash it. It's it's just going to go out my washer drain. What good is that doing anyway? (laughs) Which one's your washer drain? The top hole or the bottom hole? (laughs) This is a sexually leading question. How much money are we talking? Well, I mean, I mean, if it goes in the bottom hole, you're probably going to vomit it out the top hole. If it goes out your top in the top hole, it's going to come out the bottom hole eventually. I just love it with That's the plumbing deeper. Works. Listen, from the from the amount of in the black you keep talking, you're in. You can't afford me. I just. And not it. that I'm no. anything special. I just have a high price tag for no fucking reason. Oh, so because I have I have morals, but for a price. See, I don't have morals. I just have a shit ton of debt. That's why my price is so high. I love I love it like how uh, the, the credit card debt's get higher, and then the prices for everything's getting a little bit lower. It's like oh, I'd do that for I wouldn't do that for at least fifty grand. Now it's like ah, ten grand cash. <laughs> Oh, good news. I heard on the radio today, um, our property taxes should be dropping by about $3 a month. After they just got raised like $300? Yeah. Fucking idiots. They're like, there's something with the... My, my new house payment is now like $120-something dollars more a month. Yeah, I think, I think that's about what ours went up. It's like 100, 150 160 bucks. When I, after God I re- damn. How? Oh. You guys re- Did, have they not re, re, uh, reassessed your value since 1997? Or? <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. You know, my I, house payment went up. Uh, my wife pays all the bills, so I really I remember her bitching. Our, our house value <laughs> went up like a really hundred and something plus, <laughs> yeah. which that? is retarded. <laughs> but you well, know. I, I refinanced well, what about six months ago. Their house payment went up three hundred bucks a month. My uncle came over last night, all fired up. They're saying that uh, the city of Lawson is trying to do this a Vista tax. Have you guys heard this shit? No. So <laughs> you sound real excited about it. But I guess our Vista bills will go up by like a certain percentage. And then that extra percentage, the money's going to the city to fix roads. And I'm why like, don't they just take the fucking <laughs> splash like, pad money to fix the roads? Why well, I'm just trying to figure out why uh, the, our, what's, what was the purpose of raising our, ta- our property taxes. The high school. Well, see, they didn't raise the property taxes. They raised the uh, no, no, the we, value of our houses, which raised our taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because, say. like, when I uh, but, when I bought my house in 2012. No, 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 no. So what what my truck boss was telling me is they did your truck boss. <laughs> you drive a truck. Yeah. Your dumpster Sorry. boss. He means the Eric. dumpster boss. Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the dumpster boss. <laughs> the dumpster boss. <laughs> He told me that with that high school thing, it was like four dollars and something cents they were charging per thousand dollars in taxes on your house. But then they're like, "Well, we're lowering that to like three dollars and ninety cents or see, something like that." But then where... everyone's houses went up by a hundred grand, <laughs> yeah. so we're actually now paying more. <laughs> and see, they're like, "Oh, you're paying less." The fuck we are, motherfuckers. That's essentially what they said on the radio. Was like, it's gonna. They went from four hundred dollars per. I think it's four hundred dollars per hundred thousand to three hundred ninety dollars per hundred thousand. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're still paying more. Yeah. yeah. So what are you guys doing with that extra money? Yeah. 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 You guys are yeah, making I, me uh, real happy. I don't have a, a house. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then like he was telling me last night, he's on top of this shit. But he was telling me that uh, Luston is the highest property taxes in the state of Idaho. And see, that really surprised me because Latah County used to be really, really high. Yeah, it's like, um, my folks' house is worth about <laughs> twice as much as mine. So let's go ahead and vote those guys in, guys. <laughs> but their property taxes were always four times higher up until recently. Yeah. Now I'm paying almost what they're paying. Their houses, they, they own about an acre, and they've got three... 
they're two good sized outbuildings. Yeah. And their houses, their property's worth twice as much as mine. Yeah. Like, I feel like it truthfully is, but it's yeah, not yeah. worth a million dollars, and mine's not worth a half a million dollars in my opinion either. <laughs> I mean, like my I in my my, I, my house is still worth the two hundred twenty thousand dollars I paid for it, not my, the assessed value of yeah. four eighty. My poor aunt, she has two I acres just, in Liston. I just Ooh. wish I'd and had the force. My uncle just passed away like a year and a half ago. She's by herself. I'm like, dude, your property taxes alone oh, are dude, killing you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I think she's gonna have to sell it. I don't, I, I don't know. Well, my, but my mom said she could do like a, a relief since she's single, whatever, single. Widowed. Widowed and yeah. single, whatever, pay I, or whatever. I just wish I'd have had the foresight to get a second mortgage <clears throat> or a second, buy a second house. No shit. Back when it was cheap. And then fucking <laughs> wait until the price has jumped way up and then sell mine. Yeah. But, you know. A friend of mine. I tried. <clears throat> I, tr- I tried and tried when we bought our house. We tried and tried to get another house, but we were too far debt income because our credit cards and then the house payment. And because uh, we were going to buy our daughter a house and she just rent it to her basically and, as a rental. But yeah, yeah we couldn't do it. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I look at your credit card debt. So, Friend of mine. That's house. when you say you 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 get child support for like 1400 a month. <laughs> yeah. And you're paying it. <laughs> like, it's undocumented. Yeah. Prove me wrong. Yeah. <laughs> a good friend of mine, um, his house was paid for, and then they decided they wanted to move. They lived in Troy. They wanted to move out of town, out of the big city, you know. Oh, yeah. And so they bought, I think it was like. I 30, like Troy. I do, too. But they yeah. bought a little bit. Well, they bought. Was 30. that the guy you watched the porn with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they bought it. Wow, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> they bought it. Alcohol. An, what an do you do? His name wide. is Daniel. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't know. All the Daniels I don't know makes sense now. <laughs> but so he bought, I think it was 13 acres in a single wide, and they still had the town, their house in town that they wanted to fix up before they sold. He figured once he fixed it up, he'd get, you know, 70 out of it. Yeah. And then that's when the housing market Fuck, went crazy. Just blew up. And he, this, he wanted 70, and he paid, I don't know what he paid for the new place, but he wound up getting like two and a quarter out of the house. He wanted 70. How much property did he have? The house in town was like three city lots. Oh, okay. Which, you know, that's, you know, for in town, three city lots is nice, but mm-hmm. it wasn't a huge house, maybe like 1,500 square, yeah, 1,400 yeah. square, somewhere in there. An old outbuilding that probably should have been tore down. <laughs> I mean, it was built on, it was built, the framework was all timbers. Yeah, so, I mean, it was, it was old, old, you yeah. know. But yeah, so the house he wanted like 70 out of you, like two and a quarter. So he's like, we paid off our new place, I bought a new pickup. <laughs> We got money to spare. That's fucking awesome. And like he timed it, and it was not planned. It wasn't no, planned. I yeah. just timed it right. Like because I'm a lazy piece of shit, and I didn't want to fix everything. Yeah. And by the time I got it fixed, the housing market quadrupled. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. We got an assessment on our house, and I'm like, there's in my mind, there's no fucking way it's worth what they're saying it's worth. Well, like, so I got go fuck yourself. I got out of. An, I would not buy my house for what they're saying it's worth. Right. There's well, no I got. Way. I got out of the fifteen hundred dollar appraisal when I refinanced my house because I was asking less than the assessed value. Yeah, I mean, the assessed value was hundred thousand dollars more than what I needed to refinance for. Is that fucking crazy? And that's the that's what the and like your assessed value versus your um, market value. And the, that's like a twenty five percent difference. And I just told the ladies like hundred thousand dollar difference between the assessed value and what it's worth. I'm not going to pay fifteen hundred dollars to have somebody walk through and tell you that it's worth. <laughs> Yeah. Double of what I'm asking for. Oh, Robert. Yep. <laughs> I think uh, if I need a third bedroom at my place, a storage unit's starting to sound good. Ziggy shed. <laughs> yeah. I got a lot of shit. That's the only reason we want to move. But that seventy that seventy five dollars a month for a storage shed is starting to sound a lot better than one hundred seventy five dollars more in. Whatever the fuck you guys were talking about. 4500 bucks for a 40-foot shipping container. Yeah, we'd probably get one. Our people are burying those fuckers. That'd be kind of cool. See, I wanted to. when uh, Before I bought my cabin, I wanted to bury one Yeah. for a cabin. That'd be kind of cool. Underground bunker. Mm-hmm. Then you wouldn't have to worry about heating and cooling. Yeah. Like, I think it, I think after a certain depth... The ground temperature stays at like sixty some degrees. Yes, well, it's like I think it's under like like four feet. Yeah, because that's how they do that buried well, heating and cooling systems. In the I house. don't know about that because my basement <laughs> it fluctuates in heat. That's what eight feet. But you're also the concrete's taken in the temperature from ground level too. It could be too. But like they say, like have you seen the? It's a thermal 
thermal some sort of heating and cooling in houses. They bury water pipes at a certain depth. They plummet through the house. And your house maintains 60-some-odd uh, degrees throughout the year. Where I fucked up when I had my floor poured, I should in my shop, I should have put the heating floor in. And, see, I want to tear out my driveway. And everybody I talk to says that they don't even run their wood stove or nothing. They just yeah. turn their heat floor up to, like, 68, and the shop stays 68. Um, I'm like, fuck, how nice would that be? Some at the outfit I used to work for, that's what they had in their shop. Yeah. And, like, it was sweatshirt weather when it was 20 degrees in the, in the shop, though. Yeah. I mean, they just had it ran through their hot water tank, through the floors, yeah. and it was nice, but <laughs> if something goes wrong, what do you do? What if you have a pipe yeah. break? You jackhammering it up, yeah. or you fucking lost all your money that you put in the floor. Yeah, I, I want to <clears throat> redo my driveway. I think I'm going to put in something like that for heated driveway so I don't have to shovel or plow. Are, so, uh, are you, are you going to use a credit card for that? Fuck yeah. <laughs> what? what? Actually, no. So I keep getting a um, mail from the neighbors that, or not neighbors, people that used to live in my house. Oh. And, like, I know the last. His credit card. Well, so I bought a pickup from the guy that lived in my house in 05, and it's not his mail I'm getting. But I keep getting AARP credit card offers from the Parkses. So if anybody wants a credit card. <laughs> I mean. Bring it on over, bitch. All right. <laughs> I, I got some shit I need to swipe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I keep looking through their mail, I can find social security numbers. I mean, that's how much of their mail I get. I got their tax statements this year. Fuck. But yeah, that uh, I was told because I was gonna do, I was gonna run my heated floor through my wood stove and do it that way. But a buddy of mine told me he goes, if you do it that way, use uh, copper pipe. You don't use PEX. The the wood stove. Water gets too hot and it'll melt the PEX pipe. Yeah, see, um, like, well, X, then you're at, adding copper pipe in the floor. I'm yeah. like, fuck that. Ex cousin in laws, we'll call them. <laughs> we'll call them. Well, it, it was my ex wife's cousin. Yeah. They built the new house and that's how they heat their house. That's it. I think it's considered a trash burning stove. Yeah. But it'll fit, the fuck is it, like a quarter of a cord? Of wood in it in one fucking yeah. one shot it'll it'll burn for uh, a is, week. It one, is it one of those outdoor ones yeah yeah i mean it's like you could shove this table in there holy it's fuck. huge like it's like if they take off 10 days for vacation in the winter or whatever they just stoke it and the house is warm when they come home yeah because those are those kids those are like <laughs> that's the, burning some fucking yeah wood. oh yeah <laughs> and you can put like six inch length or six foot lengths in there dude that's going through some fire yeah and you those, just throw fence posts you in better know bitch. somebody owns a logging company well they've got timber ground and yeah. his his dad is actually a logger yeah, and you got, have timber ground until you use all your timber <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you have no timber ground <laughs> it's trash burning and they've also got livestock so when it dies Smoked meat and heat. When the what dies? <laughs> Their livestock. Cows, horses. That's gonna smell How really? long does a cow burn for, Robert? <laughs> I'm not rich enough to buy a cow, so. Okay, so how long does a cat burn for? <laughs> like 45 minutes if it's yes. not very What's hot. What's a cat weigh, 20-ish pounds? Cow weighs 2,000? Oh, yeah, you could burn a cow for a long time. Yeah. That's simple math, probably. Yeah. I bet it smells really good, too. Guts oh. and everything? Fuck yeah. yeah. If you don't know what it is, it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> yeah. I worked at, uh, you know where Southway Pizzeria is? Yeah. It used to be Little Caesars, and I worked there oh, when I, I was, that. Oh, I was yeah. out of high school or whatever. And I was sitting, we were sitting there one day, and there was like the smell of like barbecue coming in, <laughs> you know? And it, it didn't smell bad. And my boss was like, you like that smell? And I was like, yeah, it's not bad. You know, he's like, you know what that is? And I was like, no. He's like, oh, that's the animal clinic next door burning animals. <laughs> <laughs> and I never realized. And it just pulls into our shit. <laughs> I never realized that they had a, 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 what do you call it, a crematorium? Incinerator. Incinerator, Incinerator for animals yeah. until one day I was working down by there. And there's just this pretty steady flow of black smoke coming out the pipe. Like, that's a vet clinic. I know exactly what that <laughs> yeah. is. My, uh. My cousin's daughter, that was, that was her job there, throwing the animals oh, in there. I, I wish. Did she's such a farm girl, too, didn't even bother. I was like, man, I couldn't do that. You know, so I was out at the <laughs> dump. She's fucking warm. When I was doing the transfer station stuff, I was out at the dump, and this girl from one of the vet clinics is trying to back a trailer with a dead horse. I was like, okay, she's probably a farm Center girl. Center that? No, they buried it at the transfer station. Oh, the transfer station. Yeah, yeah. or no, the, the dump. The landfill. The landfill. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, for being a, a farm girl... She can back a fucking trailer. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. And then one day at the transfer station, I watched this 
lady in a little SUV in a like a, a short trailer. You know, shorter trailers are harder to back up. Oh yeah. yeah. One shot. I was like, holy shit. Yeah. Why wouldn't they just before? <laughs> why wouldn't they just eat their horse? <laughs> Do you know how Honestly, much could you imagine eating a fucking a whole leg off of a horse? I mean, and they say horse meat's actually pretty good. It's a yeah. delicacy in France, I Fuck. believe. Did well, you see that tongue dogs thing? Dogs are delicacy in fucking Philippines, dude. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, meat's meat. Yeah. Whether it be human or beef, it's all the same. Cut out the tongue and pickle it. <laughs> Use it on your wife and pickle it. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you think a, a fucking a horse ear tastes like? They do pig ears. Let's do horse ears. No, they do. <laughs> it's not. Pig, it's pig ears. No, it's not. They don't. They don't. They salvage the whole animal, Jay. I give my dog pig ears. They're chew toys. Yeah. 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 See horse they, ears. Pigs. See I how think. big their ears are. My uncle, <clears throat> when he lived in Texas, went. Uh, he worked in a hot dog uh, factory. Well, Hell yeah. yeah. To this, to what well, he's the one that's talking about <laughs> passed away. To the day up to the day he died, he wouldn't eat a fucking hot dog. That's why you can't look what's going <laughs> in the grinder. Yeah. I. I. Uh, Worked with a guy that just was disgusted by hot dogs, but he was eating. Uh, I fucking like love hot dogs. Artificial crab. Oh yeah. So I made him read the ingredients. I'm like, this is the hot dog of the sea. Read what's in here. <laughs> yeah. Read what's. It's the hot dog of the sea, and I ruined artificial crab for him too. So I feel like I won. <laughs> what's all in it? It's like seafood hot dog is what it is. It's like everything, like all the extra parts from oh, like the, fish. Other fish. Yeah, like everything that. You know, you don't want to see on your in your butcher <laughs> shop goes into artificial crab, and like the red on it, that's just food coloring. The white's probably bleach. Thick. I mean, <laughs> I wonder why we're all having health problems. I mean, honestly, I love hot dogs. I love artificial crab. I know what goes in it. Yeah. I don't give a shit. It's delicious. I, I love hot dogs too. I mean, I, I gotta admit, I love hot dogs. Yeah. But like, I really don't want to see. No, me neither. I, I don't know what's in them, but the ones at Costco, the Kirkland ones, oh, God, those, those are so are... fucking good, dude. <laughs> this says all beef, but... I think it's the uh, the teeth flavor. <laughs> it's, Upper gums? It's, it's Shut beef. the fuck it's, up. It's beef teeth. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> those are good hot dogs, though. <laughs> Hashtag no more of this shit. You ever had head cheese, Josh? Head cheese? Yeah. Is that, is that semen? Brain. <laughs> huh? Brain. Brain? Yeah. No. No. Oh. Okay. You ever watch that? What was that movie? There was a movie like Thousand Ways to Die or some shit like that. In the and West. They, they had that monkey fucking wrapped up her in the. Do you remember that? Had it had a like, had like a thing around its neck, and then everybody got a hammer and started beating the monkey until it died, and then they fucking opened up the brain, started eating the brains out of it. I don't remember. That. Yeah, we watched it when we were kids in high school or <laughs> junior high, and I remember that haunted me for the rest of my life. I'm like, so ah, that poor fucking monkey, dude. <laughs> I remember when I was a, we were must have been junior high health, or health teachers tell us where AIDS started. It was like the Africans <laughs> and the monkeys, and then of course we immediately go to they were having sex with the monkeys. Like, no, 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 no. They were eating their brains. Kind of like the wet market, eating bats cause coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait. It came from a lab. Oh, weird. <laughs> Conspiracy theories. I'm not sure. Do a shit of the week. Does anyone have any nominations? Oh, I got so many. Yeah? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, 1806 Powers Ave. Those people. Isn't that your house? No. No, I'm on Powers Drive. Um, so, what about I, our secretary? What? Why what is she, she doing? Dish of the week? She texted me, told me to go back oh, she, for a stop. She did text you today, finally. You you have her number? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say in the text? Did she say, hey, this is so-and-so? No. I, I told her, uh, the street was blocked. Tell them to leave their <laughs> shit out. And I'm not supposed to tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I got it. How did she respond? Uh, she just said okay, and then she just wrote a note that said that the street was blocked, so nice. to check it the next day. So she I, I, she's already doing better than the other one. So she can't be the douche of the week then. No. But so okay, on uh, Monday, I got called back to clean up a mess on a can that wasn't out when I went by the first time. It was uh, the it was the crack den on Powers. 
Yeah. And so I go to dump it, and then the can wouldn't pick, and it like it gets that like a, enough of an angle, shit dumps out when it stops, but yeah. not into the hopper. Sounds like my penis. And I got pissed <laughs> off. Extended the arm out, got it to dump, made a mess. Sounds like my penis. And I like I know. Extended the arm out. Like, <laughs> but like I've lived, you know, within a block of this house yeah. for twelve years now. I think I know what goes on there. I wasn't cleaning up the mess. And then apparently they called the Oh, office. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Okay. And they, apparently they called the office and said, The tarp hey. house. Yeah, the tarp house. Well, two houses down. From, no, one house down from the tarp house because it's migrated to the two houses. <laughs> oh, yeah. And so and all three of us got the calls like, I'll go get it. And um, as soon as I got, I didn't touch anything. I got the shovel out. and We have sho- shovels? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and so I'm, first scoop, a bunch of needles fall out of a bag. Fuck you, dude. I'm out. And so I took a picture, sent it to Sean, said, this is why I didn't want to clean it up the first time. Yeah. What did he say? He said, well, he waited until I got back to the office and he talked. He was like, yeah, just let us know the first, like, if it happens right off the bat. I was like, I didn't even get out of the truck the first time because I know what goes on in that house. Yeah. I was like, the, well, I about shot their drug mule one day. They have a mule? It, well, it's, I don't know what it is. It doesn't know what it is. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys know that... Um, <laughs> Uh, druggies are, they're mixing. No, they're not. They're mixing <laughs> horse tranquilizers with fentanyl now. Yes, it's called, uh, what do they call it? They call it, uh, awesome sauce. Yeah. <laughs> they, call they, it, I want some. Fent- fentanyzer. <laughs> no, it's called, like, starts with the T, isn't it? They just call it trank. Tr- triller? They, trank? they call it trank and I think a, they're a couple triller. other stuff. But yeah, they, like, shoot up with it and then their arms or the injection site just starts fucking dying. Yeah, just like it turns like black and leathery because it's fucking, uh, I can't remember what it is. Necrosis. Come on, people. Yeah, necrosis. Yeah. And they're like, I don't know what's wrong with my arm. So let's go to the so bottom side of the So people keep doing arm. this? Yeah. yeah. So do you guys want to hear my conspiracy theory on this? Uh, there's bird semen. No. This uh, one's more legit than the fake birds. <laughs> oh. The CIA is trying to create a super race of humans, and they're mixing the fentanyl with the horse tranquilizers, because eventually... Tranquilizers? <laughs> tranquilizers. That's what I call them, for the purpose okay. of this conversation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no but names, no names. The CIA is trying to create a super race of humans, because three generations mm. down, there's going to be a breed of humans that are just nothing can kill them. But have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a big old dude on PCP freaking out? You can't stop him. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> I, want, I mean, not if you're the cop. Yeah, I watched. I watched cop like like four cops. They all use their taser on this the, dude. You guys got like, bunch, got fuck, like eight fucking yeah, taser probes hanging up. Like, you you want some of this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, they couldn't even bring him down, dude. I was like, wow. That's why you don't use a taser. Yeah, like you'll sh- you'll shoot a kid and dog, but you won't yeah. shoot a guy that won't take go down with eight fucking tasers. Yeah. That's called twelve gauge double. That's called retarded. Forehead. That's called retarded police work. <laughs> Fuck, I'm still trying to. Think. I think we can go with that. I would probably just like run up and shove my nightstick in his butt. You want this? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do. I think yeah. we should go with some. Right, you can have it. Just make him run. Use the other bucket. end with the fucking ninety degree thing on it. <laughs> yeah. I think we should go with Zelensky, <laughs> Zelensky for the fucking dish of the week. Who? Zelensky. Yeah. Who's that? Who's Zelensky? The president of Ukraine. Oh, for taking all of our money and yeah, guns? Yeah, taking all of our money. And then he's like, oh, I need, I need fucking 300 fucking, I need more. fucking jets and I this and more. that. And that's what he keeps saying. I need more. I need more. Fuck you, dude. That sounds like a single mother. <clears throat> I need more money for child support. This shit should have been over a long time ago. But we keep fucking feeding dude, the Dude, why don't problem. we just send him one jet with Tom Cruise? <laughs> Fuck yeah, get rid of Tom yeah. Cruise. No, dude, do you not watch Top Gun 2? And I did, but shit. I'm, I'm sorry, but Tom Cruise is a weirdo. I didn't he's watch Top Gun anything. Huh? He's a Scientologist. Dude, he's got, he's got to go on a good school of shit. Okay, I'm going to send you a podcast <laughs> after this about Scientology, and you will lose a lot of respect for Tom Cruise. I don't, I don't think he's part of that anymore. <laughs> he saw God when he was in making the new movie. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I said, did you see God when he's making the new movie? 
I don't know. I like I like I like the amount of effort he puts into his movies. He, he's I got like a lot how, of good movies out. So I, I like how long. how appreciative it, he is of everyone that works on it, even mm-hmm. if you're just the guy that fucking tapes chords together. Like, actually, no, he is actually a pretty cool celebrity. It comes down to the trickle down effect of the people that work with him. Yeah. He is actually pretty cool about that. But Scientology is fucking weird. Well, you know what? Everyone <laughs> everyone teacher, fucks up now and then. I had a teacher in high school who was like that. Yeah. Scientologist. Mm-hmm. I, I listened to a pod. It's the last podcast yeah. on the left. Maybe they'll plug us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. they're, they're doing a three-parter on Scientology, and holy yeah, shit. he was weird, man. You got into it's... deep with that guy, and you're like, whoa, what? Yeah. And he L. Was, Ron Hubbard. He was a science teacher. Yeah, Scientology is then... weird. Retardology. Yeah. Yeah. So Anyways. Do, of our douche of the week, Scientology, then? <laughs> Tom Cruise. <laughs> it's not Tom Cruise. No, no. It can be Tom Cruise, and like he'll do his little Google search of his name, but Tom Cruise pops up on this. He'll listen to it and plug. It's like, hey, Straight Garbage Podcast is a bunch of assholes. And then be like, Straight they called Garbage me Podcast. The douche of the week. Yeah. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, You're Tom. Douche of the week. I say Tom Cruise the douche of the week. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It might get us some listeners. <laughs> All right. I guess Tom Cruise. Scientology Tom Cruise. Dude. Shh. You're just gonna well, shirt anyways. after some mildly retarded reasoning, I do believe we have found our douche of the week. Smooth. Oh, I heard some good news on the radio today, guys. What's that? Idaho is bringing back the firing squad. Ooh, yeah. For, like, the death? Hopefully yep, because they can't get drugs for lethal injection, so we're gonna start shooting people. Hopefully, it's for that fucking douchebag to kill those four students. Dude, I, I can get anything they want. Well, okay, so these. This, <laughs> this, this, it's okay, this this brings up my point. Why Let me call my guy. I got a guy. Why does it have to be do. certain drugs for lethal injection? I'm pretty sure gasoline's under four bucks a gallon. I'm pretty sure if that if you inject that into somebody, they're not gonna live very long. I'm pretty sure that trailer. Oh, Jay. <laughs> Try this stuff. Have you tried this? Yeah, I've tried it before. It's what about, get, it's what about like Mountain incineration? Dew oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, what if you just threw a human in there, like, alive? That'd be cool. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out. So, okay. <laughs> when, I was in, when I was in shop school, in high school. In your, uh, did you chop your finger? So, we were had to work with air tools and stuff. And the, the shop teacher was like, hey, if you got an open cut... While you're working with this air, your air tools, stop and take care of it. Because if you get air uh, yeah, in I, your bloodstream, it'll go in and it'll, it'll potentially kill you. So why don't we just, just pump like a couple vials of air into the fucking... And see, pumping vials of air will do it, but getting air into an open cut's not going to do it. But yeah. Yeah. I think he was just being overprotective. But yeah. you know what I mean. But uh, yeah, I put it like just a couple vials of air into the fucking... And you know, honestly, air's... Cheaper than gasoline. Fuck, dude, it's dirt cheap. That would be and pretty cool. And if it doesn't cool. kill him right away and he suffers, well, yeah. that's, that'd be pretty known cool. what you did to get it. You just, like, keep going and he, just till his eyeball pops out. <laughs> like, like when you're <laughs> deep sea fishing and you catch one of those really down deep fish and you bring them up their eyes, just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ever seen You ever seen what, those guys skin a deer like that? You've and never seen that? Fuck. Oh, yeah. Slick as fuck, dude. They go down the leg. Yeah. They, they cut up to the leg and then they get, like, by where the... You know, the meat is. Uh-huh. Yeah. If I could poke a hole in there, air compressor, and blow it, and it goes, it blows all the hair no all the shit. way. Dude, yeah. it is the coolest fucking thing. Then he mm. just starts cutting, and there's no hair on the meat, nothing. I wonder if my Smitty built would do that. fucking yep. neat. I'm going to try it next yep. rabbit Dude, I it's shoot. fucking neat. What if you stick it up its butthole? I don't know about that. That's uh, internal. Because the butthole's I'm just pretty like sure, dumb. like, its tongue <laughs> is just like... <laughs> 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 Which would also be cool. God, you can make some money on uh, OnlyFans with that, I bet. Oh, dude. Yeah. It actually what works. about Only Rabbits? Only Rabbits, yeah. Oh, man, that brings a new term to the sex toy rabbit. Ooh. You know, the yeah. rabbit vibrators. If you stick just an air compressor up a rabbit, dead rabbit's butthole, it's tough There's a rabbit doing this. vibrator? You never really. They call it a rabbit. Yeah. It's, not- it's where it's got the like. The one shaft and then the little thing up the the little nub that for the clip. The button. Yeah. And well, that doesn't really do much. Like you don't have one. And like on the have you checked one. your wife's sex toy drawer? Dude, we don't. I'm all she needs, dude. She has a whole dude, storage Dude, but you're unit. always passed out or taking a shit. So your wife needs toys. 
Jay's got a 10 by 16 Ziggy shit he's never been inside of. How many times a month do you guys do it? Who, us? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Once? No. Twice. Tops. Uh, probably three to four times a week. So Good for you. What the fuck you do? Good for you. Jesus. Those are good numbers. Does <laughs> she have to wake you up for it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jay. Jay. <laughs> you like wake up no. in the middle of it. Oh, hey, if what's I, up? If I had to guess... Probably two, three times a week. That's a good number. He's all snoring, and she just like drops a boner pill in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "We're Fuck doing it. it now." You want some the, the, the blue chews now? So she like wants some bubble gum. Sure. Right. <laughs> Slips in a couple of those and starts slapping his dick around. I don't know what's going on, but my fucking boner is rock hard. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, Ashley does that to me. I'll be sleeping, and she's like, hey, take this. And I'm just like, okay, whatever. And I fucking take it, and then like an hour later, she's like sucking my wiener, and then we're having sex. I'm like, what the fuck? What's... What happened? Yeah, dude, I, I like just get it, raped. what happened? You're like, well, I guess I got to go to work at Winco now. With yeah. a fucking boner. Yeah. <laughs> got it tucked under the belt. <laughs> that, that happens. <laughs> you all try to push shit on the top shelf. You're like... Get out of here. Just knocking cans off with your boner. Yeah. Your right. <laughs> like, God damn it. Doing the wiggle. You're like, get out. Stop it. No, I, I quit doing the wiggle when I hit about thirty. Like, if I got a boner, I got a boner. <laughs> Everyone's going to see it. <laughs> I mean, like, like, I'm not embarrassed that's by it anymore. Hey, that's what's nice about having a small penis. Yeah. Nobody yeah. It doesn't see show. It, like, it, doesn't. it just finally looks like you have a bulge. <laughs> yeah. Everyone talks oh, about, oh, yeah, I tucked my boner in my hung. waistband. I'm like, oh, that must be nice to be able to reach your waistband. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like to like look all weird, and I like tuck it down into my pant leg, and then you walk like the old fucking weird, like Mike. weird angle, like yeah. Mike. Yeah. Holy shit! Is that why Mike walks like that? <laughs> yeah. Mike gets garbage boners every morning he comes to work. Right. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Fuck. His penis is like, let's do this. He's like, no, wait till later. Yeah. <laughs> it just sits there hard all day. We'll find one of those fake asses in the garbage can one of these days, little buddy. Right. <laughs> then we're going to tear it up. <laughs> Two to three times a week, huh? That's, that's about average, I'd that's, say. That's pretty good numbers. It's not bad. Like that's... Are you going to have another kid? <laughs> <laughs> you no. firing blanks? <laughs> no. no. You're not fixed? No. You're not either? Okay. You're the I, only... I feel better. <laughs> no, she is, though. Oh, well, I was going to say, you're the only old dude I know that wraps it. No, you know. Do you put saran wrap hey, on it? Dude, that's that? what Jay would use. He's like, it's Fuck fucking yeah, cheaper. Yeah. Fucking rubber band. He's like, I found wrap. this at Home Depot. Put latex glove. <laughs> Out of the roll-off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are for masturbating, not sex. <laughs> what was that? I think it was the movie Pork. I, I don't know the movie, but I think it's Porky's. I remember watching it when I was a kid, a little kid. And then he's like, do you bring protection? He pulls out a rubber glove. The guy goes, the fuck are you going to do? Invite, invite four friends. <laughs> he's got this rubber I think glove. that was Porky's. <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, no, I got five times with this one glove. <laughs> Have you guys ever been to an Adam and Eve store? Yeah. No. That is fucking wild. Dude. Oh, no. No, Adam and Eve is tame. Go to the one next door. It's like Chuck Sex Toys. Go to Chuck Sex Where's Toys. Where's that at? I don't know if that's what's actually called, but always go to the ones like close to Adam and Eve's because they're like, oh, oh yeah, you're talking about the one with like all the, the fucking the whips and like, bondage. So, shit like, the and... first one I ever went into, there was a butt plug. I swear to God, it was <laughs> the size of a chair. And like, I wasn't sure, like, it had a bit of novelty. Like, when it's like six inch diameter, that has to be a novelty at that point, right? I mean, like, I don't know, six dude. inch. I mean, that's right? like. I don't know. What about the mason jar guy? <laughs> yeah, it's true. What's up? The, okay, there's a mason jar. This butt plug, I swear to God, <laughs> you could have got four of those in. Shit. Yeah, we were, we went out of town, and the wife's like, let's stop in there. And I'm like, I, don't, I really don't know any buddies up here because we were about 100 miles out of town. So, but I walked in there and I'm like, dude, it's so uncomfortable for me, man. I'm like, the guy behind the register is like, hey, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how adventurous are you? And he's like, how adventurous is missionary? <laughs> you know what's really awkward? Dude, I was just, I don't know. I've never been in a store like that before. When so you go like, into fun. one and you buy something and they put batteries in it to make sure it works because they don't take returns. 
<laughs> that's what's awkward. Yeah, you're not it's supposed a to... six foot seven, four hundred pound black man <laughs> sticking batteries into a vibrator to make sure it works because they don't take returns for obvious reasons. <laughs> like, don't touch that shit. I'll just take the chance. Yeah. Don't smell anything. <laughs> oh, and so the, the one that I remember, it was in Denver in a skeezy part of town. And you could buy, I think it was Astroglide. I think it actually was Astroglide. <laughs> And it had been like a two and a half gallon container of Astroglide. <laughs> what? What do you fucking dip your balls it, in it? It had like you know, like when you buy Gojo, it looked like a giant Gojo container. It had a soup with a ladle. Hand pump. Yeah. You just yeah. You, it had a vent on top and then a spigot on the bottom. <laughs> More like yeah, like the margarita in the yeah. bucket. It, it was it was an igloo cooler. <laughs> Dude, that's fucked up. Yeah, you see, don't go to Adam and Eve. Go to the no-name ones, yeah. and then you're just like, holy shit, yeah. what is going on? In These society? are all tested and working. <laughs> so you're you, saying... You walk and you just hear a... Bzzz, <laughs> right? Like, there's no dinger when you open the door. It's just... Bzzz, yeah. bzzz. Dude, they come right up to you, Welcome to Adam and Eve. Uh, is there anything we can help you look for? And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Butt plugs. <laughs> Yeah, for her. For, for her. I need a I need I need a pull start from a dishwasher. <laughs> I don't know. I'm Listen, just... my wife hasn't came since we've been together, so I'm looking for something that'll do the trick. I think she's broke. <laughs> it's definitely not me, but we're gonna try it dude, out, dude. I don't know. I just so awkward. I don't know. It's me. I don't. Know. That's just have the internet for you. Order shit online, dude. <laughs> Dude, yeah, they had like yeah. fisters, dude. Like a whole arm with a fist on it. I'm like, did you buy it? So you I can like, about it. so you just you don't even use it for sex. You just run around town and like fucking bump fists with dudes. Like fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> so we should get a couple of them and just bump fists in the garbage truck. <laughs> You're out there sword fighting with it. <laughs> so do you guys know what the Jeep wave is? What's that? The Jeep wave. Yeah. It's oh, like the two oh, finger yeah. thing. The two finger thing. <laughs> and so on one of the forums I'm on, or it's actually Facebook page, oh, they're, buy, they're buying the rubber dildo arms that are doing this. <laughs> <laughs> <on their dash. laughs> Always yes. waving. That's... Yes. No. So like if you have one of those those fister things, like and that's a sword, then do you get like the butt thing for a shield? <laughs> So you just start jousting. Oh, so the fisting, <laughs> the fisting thing. It, have you seen those machines? It looks like like a steam engine, like train, <laughs> yeah. and it just does this. Have you seen those? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, holy shit! Like there's like <laughs> six, eight inches of stroke and you know a, a softball yeah. at the end of it. The, the guy somehow manufactured up a, a dildo and put it on. Oh, that's so, easy to do. On a, you you want one? on a sawzall, it's all... It's oh, like, super, super easy to do. Do you want one? My old boss at roto did that. <laughs> did all of a sudden, she's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, cut through my butthole! Dude, he sent me a picture of his girlfriend's face afterwards, and it was like, <laughs> ear-to-ear smile. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Which, honestly, you as crippled as I am anymore, that might be... Easier on the body. What do you? Instead of just. <laughs> is that what you do? Yeah. <laughs> My, I got a tiny penis. Oh. <laughs> I mean, like. All right, that's you might, huge. <laughs> you might. You might need one of those arm things. Yeah. What do you think Rice and Moore would do if we came at it with oh, a fister God. arm? Bend over. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who took the stool? That fucking stool's gone. Huh? That stool's gone. Did you Apparently take... it's broke now. What stool? Are you guys talking about poop? So I took the stool and I hit it. That's gross. Because apparently you fuckers thought <laughs> it'd be fun to crunch up my chips into little that tiny wasn't pieces. Me. Well, one of you fucking I still think it was not me. <laughs> Wasn't me. I don't. It was I, Steve. I, 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 I've hit your lunch bell up on the thing before, but okay. I've never opened your lunch bell. Honestly, okay, Josh, how many thousands of dollars of damage did you do to Steve's yard, and he crunched up a seventy-five cent bag of chips? I did zero damage to Steve's yard. You can't see any damage at all in his yard <laughs> now. Now, 
There was there was tracks through there. I didn't peel out and tear up the ground. There was just indentions. But, but guess you, what? They're but gone. When you compact sod like that, it doesn't grow right. Steve wouldn't do that though. He's not oh. that. Are you sure? Steve is the only one that has like any reason to get revenge on Josh. <laughs> I, I would. See. I'm pretty sure it's Brad. I don't think Brad would do that either. I can see Brad do. I, Brad's Anyways, quiet enough. I had I, I had a I had a little bag full of chips. And, like a sandwich you know, baggie? Yeah. Okay. And I, I get, Did it they blow get up? crunched and break up, but they were all in tiny bits, like crumbs. Like the somebody entire did, like, bag. You like, should have called up. Like a, somebody just sat there and was like. Dude, that's fucked up. So I was like, fuck that. So I took the stool and I hit no, it. It's not, well, then Ren it's, was like, I found your stool. And I was like, okay. And I was like, well, I hit it. And he's like, no, it's sitting out back there and the top's broken on it. I was like, huh. Well, I didn't do that. <laughs> you told me this. More price sat on it. <laughs> Uh, was somebody was trying to get the little the center post? Does that still have the center post? It doesn't have a center post, but no. I could see more trying to do that. More probably just sat on him back there trying to hide, and it fucking fell apart on him. I don't know why, but I could see fucking like Brad coming by and like seeing your bag of chips and just like, huh. right? And just walk off like nothing happened. I could do like I'm sorry at 48 you you're having what? a kid. That doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. <laughs> Do you know? Is he uh, seriously what, a kid? Yeah. I guess. Do you oh, know what? Uh, Life's on, over. On purpose? Mm-hmm. Do you know? Uh, no. Like what time you found out no. when the chips are? Was He's everybody kind of gone pump. or? Maybe her was that on, on your purpose, lunch break? That was on my lunch break. So it was all that had been one of the earlier drivers then. Yeah. yeah. Or was, Robert. Do you think that yes. could have been anything Eric would do though? Just fuck around. Thank you. No. I don't think he'd fuck with anybody's lunch. No. That's pretty hard to do to fuck with somebody's lunch. I guarantee it wasn't me. There it was, was me. no way I would do that. I still think it was Robert. He's not denying like, it. Because we were going to fuck with you. This else. is what I hate about you. Like, I don't even care if you <laughs> did do it. Just, like, tell me if you did or didn't. No, because I remember the morning. You were in a really good mood, and I was going to eat your sandwich, but you are in too good of a mood. I was going to squish afraid. your sandwich, but he wouldn't give it to me, no, so I had to squish be- your chips. Because I was scared of what he might do because he's in such a good mood. When was, Josh is in a good mood, I'm scared of he him. He called me a retard, so I was going to stomp on his sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call you a retard. Yeah, you said only retards have iPhones because oh. Corey just oh. got an so iPhone. Called... Oh, you have an iPhone? Oh. Sorry, I didn't know that. So you, <laughs> sure. by, by calling Corey a retard, it triggered you. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was but I didn't wonder why didn't, you put your lunch pill over now that you got that work That was way better. Yeah. All right. Because I like it on the stool. <laughs> In the stool or on the stool? Both. Your, your like flat you like top one was way board. better than the other one. At least you can put your uh, clipboard on top of it. You know right. I mean? So yeah. I thought it was a great compromise, but yeah. apparently somebody didn't think so. Wasn't me, man. I, I'm all fuck with you so, and hide it or something, but I ain't gonna touch your lunch. So somebody crushed your bag of chips, and they broke a stool. Like they went and looked for the stool that you hid, and then they broke it. I guess. So somebody's being like. The most childish. Right. Like, that's got more written all over it. That's absurd as fuck. I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> I've been way more childish. Yeah. It just seems <laughs> awkward. Yeah. I could think of way more things I would do before that. I mean, like, I'll fuck around with Josh. Like, uh, um, he was grinding one day and he's. In the dumpster, or whatever. What was he, gr- was he grinding I, you? I walked by and I un- plugged the grinder, and I could hear him go <laughs> beating the grinder. <laughs> <and> like, <laughs> I walk out and I'm like, me and Brad walk out together, and I'm like, dude, unplug this grinder. And he's like, what? And you can hear Josh still in there beating on the grinder. <laughs> I'll do shit like that. So, like most evenings when we get off work, I will just I won't completely unplug Josh's shit, but just enough so it shouldn't be making contact. Oh, yeah. or it's gonna be hit and miss when he's trying to use it. <laughs> well that grinder the switch is fucked up in it so like it'll shut off in the middle of doing it so you gotta like bang on the head and turn it back on and off and like get it to work again so when it did that when they unplugged it I just thought it was doing its normal thing so I was like turning it on and off and, like banging it like trying to get it going and I was like it normally doesn't take this long and then I looked over there and I was like oh does, uh, it's fucking guys just, but you would do it to me if I was grinding am I wrong? What's that? So you probably would have done it to me if I was grinding. Oh yeah. Yeah. See. So do you get like? Fucked? I don't care that you did it. That's that's fun <laughs> shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get fucked with every day? Then I never thought about that. Like, 
if we all do shit, like how many times a day do you get <laughs> fucked with? I don't know. People always it walk by it. and try and bang on the dumpster, but like when I weld it and shit, it'll like expand and bang. Yeah, like, you're listening all the time. to music and shit. So. Well, I still hear it, but like it doesn't bug me because yeah. like I just. Just it's just like a normal thing. Yeah. So everyone walks by trying to bang it and fuck with me, but it doesn't fuck with me because it does it on its own anyway. Well, so. I was pulling in the shop one morning or something, and you banged on that dumpster. Wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I smacked something on the side of his truck, and he's like, <laughs> 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 fucking looking around like, what I fucking hit? Well, I looked in the mirror, I'm like, God damn, I was kind of close on that pole over there, that post. <laughs> Did that shop used to be smaller? I mean, it had to have been, right? What do you mean? Because there's like the two center base. Yeah. They added like that extra like 10 feet in the back where the wood stove is. So oh, that, oh, yeah, yeah. So that the but trucks would fit. I've been there since 94, and that shop's been like that since yeah. I've been there. Huh. I wonder how so, long that shop's been there then. I have no idea. 1993? <laughs> 92? Well, no, I don't know. I honestly don't know. 94 was like it's, that. It's yeah. funny how it's upset. Like that, it's crazy, though. That's the same air compressor. It's funny how oh, upset shit. Fletcher gets over, like, the changes Eric's trying to make and make it a little better. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Fletcher hates I, it. I think Eric's going to be a good mechanic. I really do. Dude, you already fixed my snap-on fucking ratchet for me. I was like, hey, you got snap-on guy come by? And he's like, yeah, well, what's the matter? And I go, I got this half-inch snap-on ratchet. The fucker won't ratchet. And he's like, bring it in. So I bring it in. And he's like, oh, this is common. You see these two bolts on that one side? I go, yeah, they just get loose, and then your gears get all fucked up. So you fuck pulled it apart, put my gears back together, put it all back together, and he's like, there you go. So you wasted his time where he could have been fixing a truck. Hey, that we you know need. what? It is what it is. Can we read your news <laughs> of the week? <laughs> R7's been in that shop for three well, days. Well, after some mildly <laughs> retarded reasoning, I do believe we have found our douche of the week. I left it there in the morning, though. But, and it was fixed when it got done. But R7's been in that shop for three days, and we really, You just got really done bragging on the guy. It. Well, that, that's because the old Mark was kept, he ordered all the parts for it, and then all the parts were wrong, so they kept having to get new parts. No, 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 no. They weren't wrong. He kept borrowing from the set that he bought, I guess. Like, they were missing gaskets and bolts because he kept replacing mm-hmm. them out of the set instead of replacing what needed to be Could replaced. Could you imagine, though, like, as a new mechanic coming in there? Oh, God. <laughs> well, yeah, that's why uh, he's changing everything. Yeah. No, I, I truthfully think, I hope he sticks around. I think he's going to be a good mechanic because he's fixing stuff right. Yeah. He can, I, I blew, a, uh, well, I blew everything out. Yeah, he back, probably did blow everything. I backed up on the <laughs> the pile at the at landfill and uh, the fucking, I blew the airline on one of the air cans, blew the air valve Ooh. on the back. So he was like, he's looking at it. I mean, he he was like there in like fifteen minutes. Did you back into something or? Did I just, just, you know how they make you back up on that pot, yeah. you know, on the deal. Fucking idiots. But anyway, um, so he shows up there and he's like, he has an air can and he has his own bag of tools and he's got like extra fittings and shit in there and he's like, I can't fix this. I was like, what? He goes, yeah, I can't fucking fix it. He goes, we gotta get another valve. We gotta it ripped all that shit off. Like, well, dude, and that so sucks. that's where I think uh, Mark is. Mark should be the field mechanic because he will farmer something back together to make it work. No, that's the old Mark. Yeah. He's not here anymore. But this Mark too learned from the other Mark. About half as much. Yeah, but I think we need a a farm mechanic to do the field stuff, and I think Eric doing the fix it right stuff in the shop. Yeah, like it's. Okay, you break down when you're doing your route or whatever. It's nice to have a few zip ties and some bailing twine on something to get your route done. And then when it gets back into the shop, fix it right. Yeah. I, I, that's one thing about Eric. It's like if you call him and he comes out, I was like, well, I can do this, but it's not going to last for very Is it going to last the rest of my day, though? That's what I want to do. I want to be able to just finish my route, yeah. get in. Go home and you can stay till seven, eight, nine o'clock tonight. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, yeah. bitch. Like, look, like, you know what, man? You get the overtime. I don't want it. He called me a little kid last Friday. <laughs> Eric did. Yeah, because I give him the nuts. No, <laughs> show him how little of a kid you were. <laughs> No, I fucking, when I blew that coolant line, I was just like, fuck, there was nothing to do. And it was like kind of warm in the sun. So I was like sitting there and there's this big old like 
one inch wide crack in the fucking the the sidewalk. So I just had this big fucking stick, just like digging out all the dirt and shit. And he's like, "We just drove up, and you look like a fucking little kid just fucking playing in the dirt." <laughs> It's like, I don't know. Fuck, there's nothing to do. Can't get in the fucking cab. I just fucking oh, sit there so, staring at the pavement. So, <laughs> uh, Corey ripped down a, there was a cable TV line. And he calls me up like, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to be done when I thought I was. I, I've got a, a line on top of the truck. I'm like, well, what is it? I don't know. Like, well, what's it look like? He explains to me, like, what's well, cable TV? Or you're, you're fine. So, but I don't know what that's that, that's what it is, and so just he, cut it. He called Ren. If he, you get shocked, that's not cable. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So he calls Ren, and Ren's like, "I can come out and look at it, but I'm not going to know anything." And his <coughs> Ren called Mike, and he explained it to Mike. Cause I think Mike was home. I was like, "Do you want me to come look at it?" Because I, I I did that shit for I think twelve years between power and communications. Like that's I did that my whole adult life. Yeah. So I come out there. I, I looked at everything to make sure it wasn't actually in the power line. I grab it. And Corey hasn't gotten out of the truck yet. And I lick it. Wow. Just to let him know it was safe. <laughs> it's like back feet into yeah. the like system. <laughs> and he gets out like, you little pussy. <laughs> Go back to the child thing. I think we have found our homo of the week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I like I, I and on all honesty, I'm glad he stayed in the truck because he didn't know what it was, because I've heard of a lot of people thinking, oh, it's probably just my TV, my phone, whatever, grabbing it and <laughs> dead. That's why, like every time I pull a line down, if the truck doesn't die, you just drive away, and they're like, yeah, that one over there, <laughs> the one I, that's still tuck- yeah. the one that's still stuck on my tailgate, that one, that's the one that I pulled down. Yep. Yeah. Did I did that C five one day. I was going up 6th Street, and I had to take a ride on Warner. Yeah. And uh, I fuck, I get to Warner, I get I pull in there, dump that fucking three-yarder. I go look my mirror to back up, and I'm like, what the fuck? I had like 20 feet of fucking cable fucking dragging just me. Just keep the, going. So keep I just going. So rolled it up and tossed it over the side of this cable TV line. And so like, it was a, I, I don't know that. where I caught it. I have no clue where I caught it. I did that on... Tuesdays are seven. I think I tore it down on, uh, would that be Cedar, I think? And I made it all the way through Alder, back to Grell, before I realized I was dragging it. And it had to have been two, three hundred feet of phone line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Perfect. oh, shit. So I, I cut it where I could, and I rolled it up and threw it in the garbage can. And Don't do it. That. I always, anytime, like, I'm dragging that shit, like, I always, like, try to, like, swerve, and, like, maybe I'll run it over, yeah. and it'll just snap off. <laughs> no, that, I, that I doesn't work. we always call them clines. They're, I think they're called linesman pliers, but they're cutters. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I yeah. keep those in my lunchbox for yeah. that reason. Like, I don't even call them. No, I, I, I just bite it. <laughs> I, I don't even call them. I, like, I like it. Well, Josh made me dull a knife one day when he tore one down when he was training me. That knife was already dull. Couldn't cut that shit. That motherfucker was sharper than shit. When you're cutting through six pieces of copper wire, it dulls it. Huh. It's true. And that's when I started putting my clients in my lunchbox. I just cut that shit now. And we were... I was with the... the I just push it off the truck and drive through and let it kind of... I just leave it for the next truck. <laughs> that's me. And then I drive through it. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, Punch it wide open. See if we rip some telephone lines down. Dude, I, I stretched one out because uh, Rice went through it and, like, drug it down. And, oh, it was on the 10th Street grade. And I was like, no, I'm just going to drive through this. And it was like, he could hear it, like, stretching like a rubber band. And then it just fucking... No, I was he, like, what the fuck? That was cool. You wouldn't believe how far <laughs> copper stretches. Yeah. We, uh, I do now. Yeah. So like, <laughs> like number, five feet. Number six coppers, like this size. I'd say that size. And we were working in the alleys in a, downtown Denver. And we didn't realize that we got our boom of our bucket truck caught into it. The secondaries, which you want to realize you got the boom. <laughs> and uh, well, we were in a bucket truck, so the boom. We were swinging, and we didn't realize, it, and the foreman starts screaming. And we swing the truck back. We didn't break anything, but I bet we put four feet of extra cable <laughs> in the cable. It's like when someone says, "Oh, I need my my wire stretcher." Yeah, it'll stretch. Yeah. It'll fucking stretch. Yeah. <sighs> 
Well, Robert's gone. Yeah. That's my ride home. Jay, can you give me a ride home? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Straight Garbage Podcast. Uh, fuck Robert, because he's not here. Douche of the week next week. Douche of the week. Yep. Douche yep. of the millennium. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Peace, Peace out, guys. guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What was that? I don't know. I got warrants, man. (laughs) For what? (laughs) Jaywalk.